Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Emily and I am so excited to be making this video today because it is all about Lego stocking stuffers. Now, I am a huge fan of the holiday season. I love everything about it, but one of my favorite parts about waking up on Christmas morning is opening my stocking and seeing all the little fun trinkets inside. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with you some of my tips on Lego stocking stuffers for anybody. I know I've seen some lists of Christmas gifts that are like for your boyfriend, for your mom, for him, for her, but this is Lego. Lego are for everybody. So everything on this list can be enjoyed by anybody of all ages. Even if they're not into Lego, they don't collect Lego, they've never even had a Lego set. These are still things that they would really enjoy. Just fun little trinkets to throw into their stocking. But before we get to it, if you're a fan of Lego Star Wars, Disney, Lego Super Mario, or Lego City Building, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Okay, so first up is the easy one, brick heads. Now, I actually don't really collect brick heads, but I really want to start because there's some really cool ones out there right now. I'm talking about the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. Those look so cute. The Mandalorian is such a hit TV show right now. Everyone's watching it. Even if they're not that into Star Wars, the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are so cute, especially in Brickhead's form. If this person is more into Disney, perhaps, the Donald Duck Brickhead is so cute. Honestly, it makes me want to start collecting Brickheads because it is adorable. That little bow tie just like... I really want it. And then there's Goofy and Pluto as well. This one retails for a little bit more. It's $15 rather than the typical $10 for Brickheads. However, you get two Brickheads out of it. You get Goofy and Pluto and they are absolutely adorable. Also, there's the Birthday Clown. Personally, I would stay away from that one because it can be kind of creepy. But I don't know, you know your friends better than I do. But seriously though, there's a ton of really cute brickheads available right now that I'm sure anyone would enjoy. Now moving on to dots. Now dots are definitely marketed more towards girls. However, I think that's just ridiculous. Who wouldn't want to be able to build their puppy into dots form? That is the coolest thing ever. The dot set number 41940, the animal picture holders, comes with three different picture holders and you can make your animal into it. It is so adorable. You can make a cat, dog, raccoon whatever you want. They are so cute and would make the perfect stocking stuffer, especially for only $15. Traditionally, Lego sets tell you what to do every step of the way. However, these dots allow you to be a little bit more creative and that's just adds a lot more fun to it, I think. There's also the dots creative picture frames and these come with three different picture frames. They are so adorable. You can do different color schemes and they actually fit photos in it really nicely. I personally had the dots pineapple pencil holder on my desk at work. So it's literally something anybody can enjoy. And especially if I was in high school or middle school, I would have totally love to have something like that. It is adorable. Plus you can always mix it up. Like that is so much fun. If they already have some of the dot sets, then gifting them some of the extra dots they're called would be so fun. They have all these cute little printed pieces on them. And honestly, I might buy some of them for myself too. They're cute. So this one definitely depends on the size of your stocking, but I think the 501st Battle Pack would be such a good stocking stuffer. Like you could use that as a Christmas gift as well. Like it goes either way. It's $30. So it's definitely an expensive stocking stuffer, but I mean, it's such an awesome gift. It's such an amazing set and anyone would love this. If they're into Star Wars at all, this would be such a cool gift. Okay. So for this next one, I know the Lego art has been so popular this year, especially the Sith one. I've been meaning to pick that one up, but I'm kind of waiting for the ones in 2021, the Mickey and Minnie look really cute. Anyways, similar to the art, there's also the brick sketches. They have them for BB-8, a Stormtrooper, and Batman, which are all really fun characters, and these are kind of like a mini version of the art sets, and would make for a perfect stocking stuffer at only 17 US dollars. Plus, they're actually on clearance at my Lego store, so you might be able to get a discount on them. I'm not sure if that's the case everywhere, though. So this next one is another set that I currently own and love. It is a Lego key holder. Now, this is probably tailored a little bit more towards an older audience. So I saw this in stores about two years ago, and I loved it, and I've been using it ever since. It adds a little bit of Lego to where typically I wouldn't have Lego. So I really think it would make a great stocking stuffer for someone. I've added it to this list because it's only 10 US dollars. Plus you can get a ton of use out of it. Like most Lego sets are really fun, but they're more like display pieces. This is something that you can actually use in your home, use every day. And I just thought that that would make a really cool gift for somebody. Moving on to CMFs. So this is something that you probably wouldn't get for somebody if they're not already into Lego or already don't have a minifigure collection, but CMFs would make for a perfect stocking stuffer. They currently have the DC superheroes, Harry Potter series two, as well as the Lego CMF series 20. So definitely pick some up if they are into minifigures. That would be perfect. Okay, now to wrap it up, last on my list is poly bags. And honestly, Lego doesn't have that many poly bags in stock right now, but Target does. And Target has a promo right now where if you spend $50 on Lego, you get a $10 gift card. This doesn't apply to all Lego sets, unfortunately, but it does apply to a lot of them and it includes all the poly bags. So if you're looking at picking up any of the 
poly bags this year. I definitely recommend checking out Target. That might be a better deal. Plus, I have a lot more cute ones in stock. So I really hope this was useful to you guys. I love stocking stuffers so much. They're just so fun. All the little gifts inside just make me so happy. So I really hope that you're able to find some fun Lego gifts for your family and friends. And if you have any other stocking stuffer suggestions, please leave me a comment below because I still need to go Christmas shopping. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.